initial adjustment and checking the helmet is positioned correctly. Our standard package includes a helmet with a face shield, a neck protector and a user guide. The ratchet can be turned to adjust the head size. The size can be adjusted very easily from the outside. The ratchet is easy to turn even when wearing firefighter's gloves. Now you can check if the helmet is sitting correctly. Check the height first. To allow the helmet to sit correctly, the lower edge of the helmet shell must be parallel to the floor. If the height is not correct, take measures to fine-tune its position. Next, make sure that the helmet is sitting correctly vertically and horizontally. There should be an adequate amount of space between your nose and the visor and the lower edge of the visor should reach down below your mouth. If the visor touches your nose or stops too far up, its position needs to be fine-tuned. Now check the chin strap. It should not be too tight around your neck or cover your ears. If the chin strap is not sitting correctly, take measures to fine-tune its position. You have now checked all the factors you need to ensure your firefighting helmet is sitting correctly. Its height is correct. It is sitting correctly vertically and horizontally. The visor can be positioned correctly without it touching your nose and the position of the chin strap is correct. If the helmet still doesn't sit perfectly after you've checked these factors, however, carry out the fine-tuning measures described in Chapter 2. Fine-tuning measures It's easiest to carry out fine-tuning measures if you remove the helmet's interior layer. To do this, take out the main screws on the right and the left. This allows the face shield to be detached. Next, remove the screw at the back. The interior layer can now be taken out as well. The interior layer is made up of several parts. The chin strap with a buckle the headband, the helmet band, the head net, the over the head band. the adjustment tabs and the rear crossband. How can I adjust the height of the helmet? The height can be adjusted using the tabs on the headband. To do this, loosen the tabs and slide them up or down. You can also alter the height by tightening or loosening the over the headband. It is important to make sure that the over the headband is not too tight here. If it is, it will be bearing most of the helmet's weight. How can I change the position of the headband to make it more comfortable? Choose the most suitable from the front headband's three available positions.
To do this, detach the headband from the interior layer. It is attached to the helmet band by a snap fastener on each side. How do I adjust the helmet for small head sizes? The two additional positions for altering the tightness of the headband allow the helmet to be adjusted specially for small head sizes. To improve the fit of the chin strap around your neck, the neck strap can be made tighter. To do this, pull the neck strap through the ring and fasten it at the back. It is particularly advisable to use this option if you are wearing a mask-helmet combination. How do I adjust the chin strap properly? Adjust the rear crossband and alter the buckle to position the chin strap around your ears. Now reinsert the interior layer and the visor and re-screw them to the helmet securely. How do I attach the neck protector? Three snap fasteners secure the neck protector to the interior layer of the helmet. Two of these snap fasteners are on each side and the third is located at the back of the helmet. The helmet will now sit perfectly. The helmet's vertical and horizontal positioning the height, the visor, which does not touch your nose, and the chin strap have all been adjusted correctly. Options. Mounting the helmet light. Press the locking button and at the same time move the front trim downwards parallel to the helmet shell before pulling it away. To mount the helmet light, slide it parallel to the helmet shell towards the catch and then press it onto the mounting panel with the heel of your hand until it clicks into place. To switch the helmet light on, Hold the button on the light down for at least two seconds. Press the button again to switch between the two available brightness settings. Holding the button down again for two seconds will turn off the helmet light. To open the battery compartment, loosen the screw with a coin, such as a one euro coin. Take out the three dead AAA batteries and replace them with three new ones. Please don't use any batteries that are not stated in the user guide. Attaching the safety goggles. It's easiest to attach the safety goggles if you remove the helmet's interior layer first. 
follow the instructions in Chapter 2, which is entitled Fine-Tuning Measures to do this. Now remove the goggles and screws from their packaging. Place the square nuts in the positions intended for them on each side and line the goggles up with the interior layer. Next, insert the screws and tighten them. The interior layer can now be placed back inside the helmet. Attaching the all-round neck protector. As with the standard neck protector, three snap fasteners secure the all-round neck protector to the interior layer of the helmet. It is also held in place by two self-adhesive fleecy panels, which are attached to the front of the helmet band on the left and on the right. To attach the self-adhesive fleecy panels, remove the protective film of one of the panels and stick the panel to the inside of the helmet band to make the all-round neck protector slightly taut. Then repeat this procedure with the second panel on the other side. Service. Changing the face shield. Take out the main screws on the left and the right. The shield can now be detached. Next, insert the new shield and put the two screws back in. Changing the headband cover. Detach the headband from the interior layer. It is held in place by two snap fasteners on each side. Undo all the Velcro, remove the old headband cover, and put on the new cover. The headband cover can be replaced both with the interior layer inside the helmet and with the interior layer taken out of the helmet. Changing the chin strap. It's easiest to change the chin strap if you remove the helmet's interior layer first. Follow the instructions in Chapter 2, 
which is entitled Fine Tuning Measures to do this. And then undo the Velcro fasteners on the over the head band and the rear cross band. Take out the screws and the square nuts on both sides. The chin strap can now be removed and replaced with a new one. Proceed as follows when attaching the new chin strap. Pass the over the head band between the headband and the helmet band on both sides, ensuring that the headband runs directly behind the headnet fastener in the process. Now fasten the headband in place. Put the square nuts back in their intended positions on each side. And screw on the chin strap with the helmet band. Finally, thread the rear crossband around the helmet band and the D-ring before fastening it. Washing the interior layer. Take the interior layer out of the helmet, following the instructions in Chapter 2, which is entitled Fine Tuning Measures, and put them in the wash bag. The interior layer can now be washed in a washing machine at 40 degrees Celsius. Thank you.